Screensavers Online is the best source for information on our show. How much do you know about the Screensavers, huh? Huh? We'll take this week's Super Geek Challenge. Test your knowledge. Available right now at ddtv.com slash the Screensavers. If you miss any questions, we'll take it personally. Hey, ever wonder what the big difference is between using that shareware download and using the quote-unquote real application? Well, this month's PC Computing Magazine has got all the answers. They ran a test on cost and overall satisfaction of similar shareware and commercial apps. Uh, PC Computing's Andre Leach is here to share the results. Welcome to the Screensavers, Hi. Andre. Now, according to my notes, uh, PCC compared a $956 software suite with like a $325 shareware suite of a, a word processor, a spreadsheet, data management, a mm -hmm. whole bunch of stuff all packed in there with a the browser, right. and uh, then compared them to each other. Mm -hmm. Now, they did that with a series of tests. Tell me about the tests. We, do, we did usability testing on them. We came up with a, um, basically some common tasks that you'd expect to use on those products mm -hmm. and had testers sit down and see if they can complete those tasks. Is that how you quantify usability? Just how easy it is to get something done? Or? Um, whether they can do it or not, uh, how long it takes them to do it, uh, things like their overall satisfaction. I mean, overall satisfaction is a big part of it too. Okay. You know, if they don't, if they don't like it, if they can't find things, they're not gonna, you know, they're not gonna be happy with the product. And then they rate it and they let you know how they feel about right, it. Right. So, what was the overall trend of the results? Um, some were as good as the Microsoft products. Some weren't, didn't hold up at all, and others were pretty equal with it. Okay. With cool. Them. And you do those again, you distribute these to beta testers and then gather it all in? How do you do that? Uh, we, sit, we have actually a usability lab at PC Computing, and we sit them down in there and film them and do a full-on usability test on them. I've seen those rooms. You've got a camera right in your face and another one over here and a microphone recording uh, you your reactions you don't, and you, don't you can't notice move. Them. No, you don't notice You them. don't notice them? No, people forget about them. Okay, yeah. that's what they say. Now let's check out, you've got three <laughs> products here that were done in your study. Mm -hmm. um, we started with, yeah, right. Now this is supposed to compare to Word 97. It's supposed to. And how did it come out? It doesn't really compare at all. I mean, I wouldn't suggest anyone using it, to tell you the truth. I mean, it's, it's for very basic things you, could, you can do, but if you want to try and use it as a word processor, just don't, don't, you know, I mean, things like just trying to find out how to bold text can be hard to do. Which I haven't even found other than playing around with it a lot. So it what right kind there. of usability scale did this get? Um, I think it was around the 1.2, 1 1.3 out of 5, which is pretty much the bottom of the barrel. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, well then let's not look at this one anymore. Okay. All right. Time. Now we are looking at, this is as easy as, and this is in theory, as easy as Excel 97, is it? Mm-hmm. Um, no. It's no. not either. It got about a 2.3 out of 5 overall score. Same thing, hard to find things, find how to do things. Um, just really not clear, like not a clear spreadsheet at all. So it's just too jumbled. It's got all the options, but they're all kind of all over the place. I noticed I tried to do the sum function, and it was just being a real pain. Things you try to do, I mean, you just try and find out how to do something. You can't figure out how to do it. Okay, so usability scale, low. We don't want to look at this one either. No, don't save the changes, because we don't care. All right, now let's take a look. This is the last one. This is the uh, scheduling program, mm -hmm. Time and Chaos. Now tell me about this one. It did actually a little bit better than Microsoft product. Um, it, it's pretty much, it has everything you need for scheduling. Um, it's pretty clear and easy to use. I mean, things are easy to, like, easy to make appointments, things like that. So. Okay, we played with it a little bit. As you can mm -hmm. see, I set up an interview with Andre today. I set the priority to A, you can play around with it, and set, I don't know, I've never used a Franklin Planner, but it looks kind of Franklin Planner-ish to me, A through T through X, let's mark that one done just for fun. Appointments, it has alarms and a full integrated phone book. So I would agree with you actually, this is a great little product and this is shareware. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a better deal than buying a huge bundled product. Mm -hmm. You can take a look at it. So now how did you feel in, in general, you, you personally, about shareware versus commercial product? Well, uh, like the caller said, I mean it's pretty nice you can actually get to test the product before you actually buy it. So that's a really good thing. A lot of times, you know, you know, you don't get documentation with shareware, things like that. So I mean there's there's pros and cons. Um, some of them I would use, some of them I wouldn't. All right. Cool. So you never know until you try, but you should try. Exactly. Okay, thank exactly. you, Andre. You're welcome. Andre Leach?
PC Computing. Thank you for joining us. The February issue has the usability test results to the head-to-head -head test between commercial and shareware applications. If you want more info about how your favorite shareware downloads fare, just go to the website, ZDTV.com slash the screensavers for Andre's article and all the links to everything we just talked about. Thank you for coming in, Andre. All right, I want to play with this time and chaos thing some more. Hey, don't move an inch. We're just getting started. More answers to your toughest computing questions when the screensavers continue. This is what multiplayer gaming used to be. And this is multiplayer gaming online on Heat.net. It's playing for keeps against real people for real stakes. It's playing the hottest multiplayer games in the world against live opponents all over the country. Absolutely free. Log on to Heat.net. Play fast, play free, and play for keeps. ZDTV.com, an online adventure for your mind. Help us make ZDTV and paint our logo. Just go to the fun at ZDTV section on our website. Download our free software. Then paint us, style a new logo. Even Picasso could love. Email it back to us, and we'll exhibit selected designs in our viewer gallery. You make it, we'll show it on air and online. ZDTV, amaze yourself. Hi, this is Suzanne Kelly from